Hello, I'm Pamela Price, owner of Life with Angels. And so you may notice that I've decided to change the title of my YouTube channel recently. And that's due to me channeling and bringing forth a book that I'm going to be publishing very soon. And so Life with Angels is where this channel will be going ahead with now. And so I've tuned in already and asked what needs to come forward. And it's the guardian angel consciousness that stepped forward to assist me this morning with what needs to be brought forward for you all in this channeling. And so it's going to be connecting with one's guardian angel and to receive that overall healing, cleansing and developing a deeper bond and relationship with your guardian angel. And so before I go into this, I'd just like to explain a bit more about guardian angels. Guardian angels are indeed an aspect of one's soul group, soul group, and your guardian angel has been with you through many lifetimes and continues to evolve with you. They exist on the angelic planes, but they're able to interact with you at the physical level as well. And this is why guardian angels are so good at getting their messages across to you. They're very good at getting people, physical people in your life to come and connect with you, to work through them, to get their message across to you. So you may have a stranger approach you or a family member or a friend suddenly say something to you out of the blue that is really relating and coming from your guardian angel as a message of support and guidance for you. And so guardian angels are very good at working with you in your earthly reality. Yes, there have been times that guardian angels have physically materialized and intervened as part of your safety, but that's very rare indeed. Our guardian angels will work in different ways and many ways to bring their messages and guidance and support through to you. Um, for many people, they will see white feathers um, or numbers, which is, could be called angel numbers. So you can look into the meaning of angel numbers. Um, if you keep seeing the same number on uh, your watch or your alarm, or, um, or even the same number on a car registration, uh, for me, I always keep seeing the number 444 four, four come up on a car registration number and that's when my guardian angel is bringing me a message to say, hey Pamela, you need to stop and listen to me. I've got a very um, important message to give to me. So the angel number 444 four, four for me is more like a warning for me to really pay attention um, and that I may be missing some things in my earthly reality or even ignoring them. And my guardian angel is sort of giving me that number to really sort of say, you need to stop and think about this. So people may see uh, signs on a billboard, you know, or adverts and so forth. There are many ways in which your guardian angel will work with you in your earthly reality to communicate with you. But on a higher level, everyone has the ability to tune in and directly communicate with their own guardian angel. It just takes that bit of practice. And this is what I'm going to help you with today. So without further ado, I'm going to go into a bit of a grounding and protection for us all and uh, we can join our energies together 
and uh, go from there and see what the guardian angel consciousness has to bring forth for you. So enjoy. So I'd like you to take some deep relaxing breaths. Breathe in deeply. And exhale out. And again, breathe in deeply. And exhale out. And for a final time, breathe in deeply. And exhale out. And knowing that with that breathing exercise, you are tuning into the energy and consciousness and awareness of your being. Allowing your energies to awaken and to expand all around you. And the guardian angel consciousness is asking you to let yourself be free. And what they mean by that is to let yourself be energetically free. Sometimes when one is stressed, we bring our energy towards oneself almost holding it tight within ourselves. And so it just takes a couple of deep breaths in and exhale out to just release your energy and let that energy flow out into your auric field freely. And so this is what you've achieved now. Notice how lighter you have become. Your energy is flowing around your auric field. And as I am saying this, the guardian angels are coming forward to assist you to free and expand your energy appropriately and safely now. And so everyone has one main guardian angel but you also have a team of guardian angels, an angelic guardian angel team. And each guardian angel has a different purpose to being with you and working with you. And those extra guardian angels can come and go. They can be with you for a short period of time or they can be with you for many years. But you will have one main guardian angel that is deeply connected with you, almost like a part of you. And so when I say this, I want you to understand that you are an aspect of angel yourselves. You are an extension of angel consciousness yourself. You are all one. The angels come from source consciousness and you come from source consciousness and we're all one. So you are all angels as well. So now that your energies are flowing nicely, allow that light of which you are now emitting from your being, now that you have freed your energy, Allow that light of your soul to cocoon you so that you are existing now within what you could call an egg shape of beautiful light that surrounds your auric field. And this light is being amplified by your guardian angels now. It's repairing your auric field, repairing your aura from any holes and tears that can happen on a daily basis due to many reasons. And it, this light is repairing your auric field now, strengthening your auric field. and creating a healthy barrier of protective light around you. And it's always important when 
you think of protecting yourself, it's always important to first protect yourself with your own light and to then ask for extra protection to work with the light that you are emitting. Because you have to take responsibility for your own protection. That does not mean to say that you can protect yourself completely on your own. But it means that you are taking responsibility. And divine and the angels always like to see that. Because then you are acting in your self-mastery. You don't have to do everything by yourself, but you do have to make that effort. And it is emitting and allowing your light to shine. And then the angels adding and amplifying that light to create the protection that you need for yourself. That then is working with divine abundantly. And so I do feel the energy and consciousness of Archangel Michael stepping forward now. And you may sense him as a blue energy. He does also tend to come with an energy of heat. So you may feel yourself getting slightly warmer. And Archangel Michael is now working with you and the light that you are accepting for yourself now in amplifying that protection around your auric field. Merging his energy of protection and your own protective light that you radiate from the core of your own being, merging these two energies together. And it's when that this is being achieved that you then can set your boundaries, if you like, healthy boundaries. And this can be done in the form of affirmations or intentions and you can do this of a morning for example you can now say I am protected throughout my day I only accept the energies that are of truth and love and that support my soul Anything else that does not resonate with this. Is sent back. I am guided. Through each moment of my day. And I accept the support of my guardian angel team within all that I achieve today. And so it be, blessed be. And of course, this is just an example. Each morning or when you do this protective meditation, you can find yourself coming up with different affirmations or intentions to say. But always start with I am. Because every time that you say I am, you're connecting with the creator, source of all that is. You're connecting with your soul. You're connecting with all who cares for you deeply. And absolutely. And so now that protection is in place. 
Your aura is repaired. It's strong. It's radiating brightly. And beautifully. Allow us to now focus on your chakras. And so this is where we're going to call upon your guardian angel to come closer now. And again, you can say this by intention. I call forth my guardian angel to come closer to me now. and to work with me on cleansing, healing and aligning of my chakra system and assisting for me to enable my chakra system to function and vibrate at the vibration that I am ready for in my ascension progression now. And so what I mean when I say this is that your chakras are always evolving. Each chakra works individually but also at the same time each chakra works as one. And that is what you're aiming for. That's the whole purpose of ascension. That you bring all of that you are together as one. And so your chakra system can raise in vibration into the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension. But they will not stay at that level. They will fluctuate. They'll fluctuate due to how your life is on the earth and any stress that you may have. And so it's important to work with your chakra system on a regular basis. To make sure that you can anchor the ascension energies into your chakra system fully and absolutely. And so already your guardian angel is bringing in the most appropriate angelic ascension energies down through your soul star chakra above your head all the way down through your crown chakra, your body chakras all the way down through your feet and into your earth star chakras. And you may pick out certain colours more than others. You might see the colour pink for unconditional love. And for example, the message for you there is your guardian angel is asking you to love you more fully. To have self-care for yourself more fully. You may see other colours, for example, yellow. And the message your guardian angel has for you is that you may need to study something, to learn something new as part of your ongoing ascension process. You may pick up the colour orange 
For example, your guardian angel could be telling you that you need balance within your life. So while your chakra system is being assisted here, take the time to focus on the colours that come forth within your inner vision and to really get a feel of what the message is from those colours coming from your guardian angel. And this starts the process of communicating with your guardian angel more effectively. So I'm going to be quiet here for a moment so that you can really concentrate on these colours. That colour may stay the same or those colours may change and a new message from your guardian angel come forward. So I'll give you a moment to listen, to feel, to sense the messages coming from your guardian angel with the assistance of the colours that you pick up on in the meditation now. Now I'm going to continue, but if you feel that you need more time, you can simply pause of the video. But once you've finished communicating with your guardian angel through the help of colors, the interpretation of colors, a beautiful brown colour will come to your mind. And this brown colour is not a muddy colour. But it's a light brown colour that brings you to a grounding, an earth connection. Grounding your energies with Mother Earth. And that's when you will know that you've completed all that you can within this meditation with your guardian angel. And to just focus on this beautiful light brown color. You may even start to smell the earth or smell the grass. But what your guardian angel is doing now is grounding your ascension progression to what you have worked so hard to achieve now. If you don't regularly ground your current stage of ascension, then you will not be fully and absolutely accepting of the energies and achievements that you have made for yourself. It's almost like they will just float out of your reach. It is your responsibility to ground your current stage of ascension on a regular basis so that you truly accept and give thanks and gratitude for the energies that divine are allowing you to embody within your being now. And that those energies will enhance your current stage of ascension progression. Allow you to become more sensitive, more open and so much more.
but it is your responsibility to accept, to ask and receive and give thanks and gratitude and embody those energies and all of that support that your angelic guide team are ready to pass on to you now. And so you may start to feel that groundedness deep within your base chakra and that energy flowing down through your legs and into the earth. And you can reinforce this with another intention. I am grounded. I am connected with the consciousness of Mother Earth in my current stage of ascension. All of which I have achieved and mastered within my ascension. I embody and accept fully and absolutely now. I am aligned to the current stage of ascension. that I am working with now and continue to be guided onwards so it be and so that brings you to the end of this meditation with your guardian angel and I can just hear the applause and the cheers that your guardian angels have for you. They are delighted in your achievements. And so this is a meditation that you can learn to do for yourself or you can listen to it again. And you're welcome to adapt to it, to what feels right for you. But I hope that it's a meditation that you enjoy and to work from, to help you to grow and accept your soul light and self-mastery further. And so I will end it there and I give my thanks and gratitude for the support I have with my channel Life with Angels. And I'll be back next week with another channeling. Take care.